everyone, this is Rebecca, and today I want to share with you what I bought at the Harry Potter store in New York City last weekend. Um, it was very crowded, there was a lot of cool stuff in there, and if you haven't seen my video of uh, showing the tour, uh, please check that out. Now, uh, there were some things in there that I wanted, but they weren't available, they were all sold out, because it was only the second week that they were open, so I will have to go back probably in the fall or December because the VR ride will be open, Wizards Take Flight, and I hope that in December they'll have some Yule Ball decorations or some other uh, Christmas attractions down there. So that would be a good time to go back. But for right now I'm going to show you what I did manage to buy and uh, let's go through these, this stuff here. Now, I uh, first I bought this uh, reusable bag, the New York Ghost, the American version of the Daily Prophet. It's a little uh, newspaper bag, and it's reusable. And they said it was the one of the best reusable bags. So, and this was only four dollars. So it's good to haul all my stuff in. I did buy a beautiful Ravenclaw pillow for my couch. There, Ravenclaw, right there. It is very soft and comfy. Oh, and it's velvet. It's very soft. Right there. That goes on my couch. And in the Nina Lima store, I bought uh, three packs of postcards. Of cards. There's only one card, but I bought a Ravenclaw Nina Lima card right there. And I bought a platform nine and three quarters ticket. These are all gold foiled, so instead of using them, I'm probably going to, you know, just put them on my walls and frame them. And this is a little holographic uh, card, undesirable number one, Harry Potter, right there. And these are just, uh, you know, postcards. Now, in Honey Dukes, I also bought a chocolate frog and this one is in a tin they are tins more expensive it's about twelve dollars compared to the paper box which is about five dollars but uh, you get more cards in this one and I haven't opened it yet so let's look inside right, open tin there is a that is a proper chocolate frog right there I will have that at a later date, I will enjoy. Well, let's see who I get. Well, let's see. I have Salazar Slytherin. These are little holographic cards, too, like in the movie. I have, of course, Albus Dumbledore. And there's information on them on the back. You have Helga Hufflepuff. I'm pretty sure these are going to be the founding people of Hogwarts. Rowena Ravenclaw. And, of course, Godric Gryffindor. It's a good little, good little connect collection. I love the holographics on them. Now, also in Honey Dukes, I did buy the a bottle of Butterbeer. And I bought the limited edition um, Macusa bottle. Macusa label right there. It's different from the other Butterbeer. Now, I have not opened this yet. And to be honest... The butterbeer at the butter bar, um, it was just cream soda. That it was it was it was delicious, but it was cream soda. So I've heard the butterbeer at Universal tastes more of a butterscotch. Never been. So I'm gonna take a sip and see if I can spot the difference. It's gonna be warm. There's a little bit of difference, a little more butterscotch in this one. 
but it's good. Has more of like what you think a butter beer would taste like and not just cream soda. So it's good. So I'm gonna I will I will drink this at a later date and of course I'm gonna keep the bottle. Now what else? I bought uh, a Ravenclaw pin, enamel pin, as I start collecting pins more. There it is, right there. Isn't it beautiful? And bought a t-shirt design right here. And this t-shirt is only available at the New York store. You cannot get it else anywhere else. I like the gold, and I like Into Dragon. Of course I like the design. So we'll see if that fits. I did get another shirt though. Can you guess? Oh yes, I got a Ravenclaw shirt. This will definitely fit me. It is an extra large, so uh, yeah, it's a proper Ravenclaw shirt. I noticed when I went there, I didn't own a Ravenclaw t-shirt with all the t-shirts I have. I have a Ravenclaw hoodie and I have the Ravenclaw sweater. But I don't have, didn't have a t-shirt, so I had to get one. And in the jewelry section, I got a time turner. Now, it's smaller than the uh, regular time turners they sell, but my other time turner broke, so I was like, oh no, I had to get another time turner. So instead of wearing this huge pendant, this one's a little more classy. So, is that it? Oh. And this bag also comes with, you know, a little side pouch so you can hold, uh, like, more cards in or other thing. It's a good reusable bag. I do like it. Now, if you don't get a reusable bag, they do put what you buy in this paper bag. It is the Daily Profit. And um, it's not very sturdy. Mine broke in transit, and I'm, I've seen others that broke. So it was good that I bought the reusable bag. But I had to buy the big one because as I have not gone to Universal, I had to buy my own Ravenclaw robe. Yes, this huge robe. Look at all that. Oh, it's amazing. I cannot wait to wear this at conventions and for Halloween. It'll be awesome. So there is my official Ravenclaw dressing robe. And like I said in my video, the cup that you get your butterbeer in is a souvenir, so I was able to wash that and take it home with me. That's a good drinking cup. Now I will show you the wands I bought. Now there was a, a couple wands that I wanted that they were sold out of at the time. There was the Golden Snitch wand, which is a limited edition and you can only get at the New York store and I wanted the um, Sword of Gryffindor wand that was just beautiful but again it was sold out so I'm gonna have to go back and get it. So what I did buy is Professor Slughorn's wand. I got his wand not because I love the character I didn't really. I found it very creepy. But his wand is is uh, more detailed and odd. It just doesn't look like a wooden stick. So that's why I got it. So it comes in this box, green box, that says Harry Potter on the back. And very plain, just like in Ollivander's. And you have this, you know, it's not the Noble Collection with the silk. It's This is more of a wax paper. And we're taking it out, and here is Slughorn's wand. I like the design, I like how it waves. Yeah. It's not just a wooden stick, it's a little different. So there's Professor Slughorn's wand. Now the other ones I bought, oh, and they do have put the wand separate in these special Harry Potter wand bags. They can, it looks like a wine bag, but it, you can fit, uh, and they fit about two wands in there. So. So. 
Now for the uh, non-character wands, they come in these uh, Harry Potter exclusive box. They're for the Wizarding World. With this nice blue strip on it. This one is the Diadem of Ravenclaw wand. Now this wand is gorgeous. I had to get it. And so when you open it up, it comes with a information card about the diadem on the back and it says the diadem of Ravenclaw inspired by the powerful and famed diadem of Ravenclaw. This ornate wand features many decorative details of the lost diadem from its pristine blue stones to its ornate metalwork etched with the Ravenclaw house ethos in mind. This wand is designed for all those who value wit upon beyond measure. There we go. That's a nice little information card. Now, again, this comes in a box with a wax paper instead of the silk. But, eh, gorgeous, gorgeous wand. Oh, it was really stuck in there. But that is a gorgeous wand. Look at that detail with the little Ravenclaw at Raven at the top and the blue stones and this nice simple black elegant wand and it's a good feel it's a good feel so yeah a diadem a ravenclaw now the last wand i bought and um just to say that all these ones are about forty dollars so yes i did uh splurge a bit but totally worth it. So this last wand, and you guess, is another Ravenclaw wand. Can you tell I love Ravenclaw? So it comes, it's another uh, Harry Potter exclusive. So, and this one is the Ravenclaw mascot. It's the blue wand. Right there. And it's inspired by the House of Rowena Ravenclaw. The Ravenclaw mascot wand evokes highly on the animal's likeness, with its wings forming the top of the handle, symbolic of one of the most intelligent animals in existence. This wand is designed for those with a love of learning. So, again, with the wax paper, we open it up, and here is the blue Ravenclaw wand. Well, this one was easy to get out of the box. Oh, that feel. It is a soft blue wood, uh, and look at that design right there. Oh, you can see those eyes and the feathers, and the wings just go all the way down to make the tip. Yeah, and the eye, look at the detail of the beak and the eyes. That is a beautiful, beautiful wand. It has a good feel to it. It's different. It also doesn't look like another wooden stick. So those are the ones I bought. And I, of course, when I go back, I will buy the others that I wanted but they didn't have. So let's step back in there. Now there is one more item I did purchase. And that is very cool. In the personalization section, uh, you can buy your very own Tri Wizard tournament jersey. And of course, I bought Ravenclaw. So it's got the album right there. And when you buy the jersey, personalization comes with it, it's not extra. So, of course, I got my name on it, right in there. So that is great. Another cosplay Halloween item, and I can wear it on, you know, sports day at work. Finally have a jersey. So that's it. That's what I got at the Harry Potter store. I can't wait to go back and experience everything I missed, and it's. I believe it's better to go with someone. It's just easier to take pictures and video with someone. But I did meet a lot of awesome people there that I could just chat and discover things with. 
So I hope to go back uh, sometime this year, maybe next year, and I will get more. Always get more. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.